Well, you know, the inspiration behind the song already did. I think for us, it's uh, about bringing something back to its foundations. I think if you, you know, everybody can understand that if you suffer enough in life and go through enough in life and it breaks you down to a certain point, you know, that foundation can be a place where either you're done or you restart. And I think for us, it was about getting back to that point where everything we've been through as abandoned individuals it should weaken you, but it can also be a, a strong foundation to rebuild yourself. And that's what the inspiration behind Already Dead was. Uh, every record we try, we don't even try to change the sound. We just, yeah, I think it's just it's what just happens. Whatever's natural. Yeah. And it's fun. I mean, it's fun to try new things and just go with whatever you're feeling in the moment. So this record is is different. Just a reflection of that time. Yeah. I think a lot of people say, why don't you know, with every band, why don't you make a song, uh, a record like your first album or this album or that album? But I don't even think they understand if we did that, they would give us just as much crap for making one that sounds like the other one. So it's hard to like take steps forward and keep people happy at the same time. So we always try and balance it, but. We also don't want to become like bored as a band where we, we know what we're doing every time we're going in the studio. We don't write like concept records and stuff. We go in and whatever's happening at that moment, I think, reflects in the music. So I think uh, at the end of the day, if the band wants to stay interested in what they're doing, they have to move forward in some regard to even want to stay a band. We love Matt Good. Matt Good. He's one of the best producers in the world. He's and he's young, you know, for that for the job that he has. But mm -hmm. He'll I win think a Grammy for sure one day he's on our record. Very talented. Yeah, oh yeah. Our yeah, not another sure. like shit he works on. No, he's awesome, he's man. Really and, good. He told me I was his muse too, which was cool. But it's funny because he tells me I'm his muse when you're not around. So whoever is the muse, I'm not sure. But you know, it's probably, he probably says that to every guy he meets. No, he never said he's that. He's a slut. Only me. No, he, he said a comment it. too. He, he said it while we were making love. He's cutting edge, and I think for us, you know, this was our sixth album, and we've been a band for almost 15 years, or 15 years this year. It's nice to get, like, a kick in the ass, I guess, because you can really become complacent. I think he brought a new element and drive to the band, and he made sure that we, he brought the best out of us. He didn't let us off easy, um, which is very important. So he did, he did a fantastic job. He's a really good person, and he's my muse. <laughs> I'm his muse. And he's his muse. It just leaves me as the third wheel. <laughs> you know, 2020, I'm not a person who really looks at that. Like, I want to do this that year. I, I don't think I ever have been a New Year's resolution person. But if I was going to accomplish something, obviously, we're releasing a couple records this year. We have a double album. First time we've done that, I'd love to see them do well. I'd love to see the band grow. Um, and uh, world peace. <laughs>